What's up guys? So yesterday was Thursday, snap-on day. Thursday is my snap-on guy day. Just at the shop, got the old Yukon pulled in. You guys uh, probably guess what I'm about to do to this one. Got uh, making that uh, rust belt money. Pretty typical brake line leak. You can see the whole pack of them right there. Looking terrible, so getting ready to do all these lines. Got a few other leaks on this one. I guess this guy's just trying to piece this one together for now. Fuel line's even bad. But never mind that. Just wanted to uh, fire up the old camera and uh, take you guys through a quick uh, snap on tool haul. I got a couple of them here, two lights. Pretty much two upgrades and, and the lights. So I'll stick with it. Check you guys in a minute. guys so as you can see I finally got this snap-on hood light no more using the uh, that floodlight I'm sure you guys see me use it not that not that I mind using that that floodlights actually brighter than this one but picked up this one here's the box to it part number CTL UH 761 obviously it takes the 14.4 battery so I got plenty of batteries but it's been pretty good. I really like the mount. I know Milwaukee has one like it too, but don't have a problem with it getting onto the hoods. And then it's got the protective thing on there so you're not scratching up where you mount it at. But the, uh, it's probably LED. I'm pretty certain it's LED, but it's got the diffuser on there. Yeah, I can see the LEDs inside there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got the diffuser on there. So it kind of makes it like, a, like an old school halogen bounce light that other one I got is definitely brighter the floodlight that I use right there it's definitely brighter but this one's good I've been I've been meaning to get it it's been on the list so I finally picked that up and then I got the uh, the new one the neck light I've used it a couple days got this Thursday so I've been using it a couple days um, you know pros and cons to it I mean I guess it's all right uh, for people with smaller necks but you know it, it the ends here you know like pinch on my neck and it feels like it's cutting off circulation to my head I could probably see someone you know if you're wearing this all day you probably end up with a headache or something but maybe breaking it in you know stretches stretching it out breaking it in it'd get better but this one's definitely got the uh, the fuel gauge like all the snap-on lights do you can see fully charged it's got the charger on here. It, it only came, the box, it only came with a wire. It did not come with a plug. Here's the part number on that one, ECHDC038. But it's not bad. It articulates up and down. But I don't know. I, I, uh, I still got mixed uh, reviews about it. It's got like a rubberized uh, in, inner part all the way around. So I guess it doesn't scratch your skin while it's on your neck. It's got a rubberized, rubberized tips on it. It says 250 lumens. You got on, off, and then you turn it on and hold it. There's a dim setting. You can see it start to dim there. Back up and down, round robins. And then when you find one you like, you just let off. But rubberized button. I don't know. I don't know if you guys pick this thing up let me know down in the comments if you're digging it I uh, I don't know it's probably gonna be one of those things I'll use it when I can or maybe if any of my other flashlights are dead which I seriously doubt that um, you know I'll grab a hold of this thing but I notice even when you're wearing it um, you know you're facing that way and you go to turn your head you know the, the light doesn't go where you go so I mean the head those those flashlights you mount on your head would probably be better for something you know a hands-free flashlight 
but I guess if you're uh, over a hood and you got this on with these things uh, aiming down, you know, I don't know, your hands tend to get in the way and shadow it, what you're trying to look at. But cool design nonetheless. It's definitely built well. I like the, I like the gauge on there. You always want to, uh, you know, not like the stinger lights where they just go out on you. You don't really know how much charge is left in the battery. But we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll warm up to it. So got that one, and then I got the uh, this one. Slowly getting my collection up. Part number EEF I five hundred A, and this one I'm sure you guys have seen it. I love these. I love these cases. I love Snap-on cases. That's kind of why I'm uh, going toward it too. These these cases are awesome. I really dig them. But your top just slides off, so you can put it in a drawer. You ain't got to worry about. I've said it before. You ain't got to worry about it swinging up, hitting other boxes or whatever. They're stackable. I got the master fuel pump tester um, manual. Obviously, it's got the little uh, the pamphlet in here letting you know all the tools you still have to get. Uh, most of these I got already. Compression gauge. I don't have the motorcycle. I got oil pressure gauge set and the transmission on the list next, but the rest of them I got. So just two and the motorcycle one I don't really need. Um, but... Yeah, they always stick these in here to uh, let you know, let you know you need more. So, oh, maybe I'll get the fuel injection cleaner. I got a kit, but that'd be another upgrade. But nice kit. Can't wait to, uh, and then I can retire my old Mac one. But comes all organized. I actually had to uh, put these kind of back together. They are all just kind of bounced around in there. They don't stay. You know, if you hold the handle and shake it around, they, they tend to fall out. But each of them got their own little cavity. Here's the gauge sitting at zero where it's supposed to be. And my other one, this sticks, they never last. The seals in there, it's like the fuel eats up at the seals and these stick. You constantly have to uh, fix that. But it's got that and it's got another section inside here. You just pop this out and all the other adapters and stuff, such in here. Long hose on there. It is quick connect. But you shouldn't have a problem hooking up to uh, any fuel line or fuel pump with this kit. And then I'll just see what I need on my other kit and uh, maybe keep the, if this one's missing any, I'll just keep the ones from the other kit because they are interchangeable. It's pretty much all the same uh, connectors, quick connect. So pick that one up. And then I got, and then I got one more tool. I'm sure you guys, if you guys follow my Instagram, you see on there, I had a uh, Mercedes in here. They had to do some, uh, the front coils were all broken up. We had to do front struts on it. And uh, you know, Mercedes, specialty tools and all that stuff. Ended up needing a special tool to get it, to, you know, take it apart and get it back together. Got this one off uh, Tool Topia, I believe. But I picked this one up. It's one of those cases where you don't even really know what the part number is. Um, I think I paid like 150 for it or whatever, but it's a tool for the uh, the coils, <laughs> and I actually got an exhaust clamp in there too for added safety. Because I mean, this tool is uh, if this ain't sketchy, I don't know what is using this thing. But it comes with all different coil sizes. I ended up using this one on it yesterday, but you know, pretty much just take this tool, you know, and these go in there. And they kind of cup around the spring and they compress the spring together and it, the middle starts to bow out that's why i grabbed the uh the exhaust clamp to you know stop it from meeting my face if it slipped out of there but it's one of these tools that you know you needed to have but you hope you never have to use again um that was a sketchy job but finally finished that one it's actually waiting on this tool for a while i ordered it like five days ago finally got the customer all set but pick that one up it's a decent one to have throw it in there and, and like I said maybe when I'm doing uh, lift kits or lowering kits on Jeeps you know I could just pop this in there to compress the spring maybe pull the spring out instead of disconnecting a ball joint or something it might be a time end up being a time saver so it's nice to have whatever so I taught like I said toss that in there I toss a little Allen key in there with it for these because these do bolt onto this so that doesn't slip out so nice little nice little tool all right guys i'm gonna wrap this one out quick tool haul 
couple upgrades. Like I said, doing these upgrades just because of the Dream Drive, you know, tools that I probably uh, could have waited on, but it's been on the list. I've been grabbing up, obviously making a good impression with the new Snap-on guy, getting them deals in where I can, and uh, getting these Dream Drive tickets. You know, hopefully I could win something, maybe a fridge I don't need or a popcorn machine that's kind of messy. Maybe I'll paint it to ma match the beast back here. So. Got to mention too, mine in the Rust Belts Toolheads crate. If you guys haven't got signed up for your first subscription, get in there. You still got some time. Don't miss out on this first crate. $35.99. We got coupon codes. So if you buy more months, check out the website here. Get in there. Get in where you can. We're backing it up so you know we're going to try to send you guys some awesome stuff. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys haven't, we got February's tool giveaway coming out. Hashtag battery tool. Hashtag air power tool. Check that video out if you haven't got in. Chance to win that. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.